there. And this program, I'm going to discuss about the features of Server to Gate and its uh, security configuration wizard. So, let's see the welcome to the security configuration wizard. This wizard helps you to create a security policy that you can apply to any server on a network. The security policy configure, configures a service and network security based on these rules. So this regard is basically help you deploy uh, security policies on their server. So that, uh, for example, if uh, someone tries to hack uh, anything regarding roles, features, registry, then uh, this wizard will help, and this feature will help since we enable that. This wizard detects the inbound pools that are listened to by the server before continuing. Make sure that all applications that use inbound pools are running. So all these things are there. Next. Uh, the configuration action to create a new security policy, edit an existing security policy, apply an existing security policy, and roll back the last. So, read there uh, existing security policy, then can edit. If you already have a policy, you can apply and just going to create. A rollback if already uh, enabled a policy, then you can by you can go to that old policy. I'm just going to create a new security policy and just saying next. Yes, three IP address. Uh, currently, I'm just using server DC1. You can even use for the local or, or the client computers. So you must have the administrator privilege to select the local server. If your current user account does not have a register privilege, selected local server, click cancel, rerun the result using S1S, and specify another account. So you can uh, use the client computer, you can even uh, configure the server security configuration wizard on the client computers also. I'm currently saying next. To see processing, uh, processing is completed. We configure your database, and when you open, uh, it tries to show what are the server roles is currently enabled. You can see DNS, the description, required servers, installed and enabled. Regular flywalls. Uh, for example, FTP server description. Require services, require firewall rules, not installed, disabled. Internet printing, same, not installed, disabled. So basically the firewall features are available, are, are connected. So uh, to the server will be affected. So web server, you can, you have to create your own rules. Uh, and this is by default rule, uh, you can even create your own by IPsec or or in by outbound rules. This is by default one. We, we the Microsoft has uh, set all the rules by default, so we have to uh, follow that. So client features, DNS clients, domain members, events clients, administrative and other options. For example, net framework, uh, offline files, and all that, remote desktop. S okay. All the features you can find, even it's, it's a very really good uh, uh, technique, uh, it's a good way to understand about all the features, also. So, five raw rules. You can see open all these, and if you want to know uh, when the server to get uh, at very deep, uh, then uh, you can explore these. So okay, next.
I can see row based servers configuration. Use this section to configure services based on the selected server roles and other features. These roles and other features are also used to determine settings in other sections. Answering this question, we currently might disable desired functionality or enable undesired functionality. Before proceeding, make sure that you have through knowledge of the roles and other features performed in the byte server. So you should know uh, before the configuration. For example, the install roles uh, currently uh, these are the uh, the installed one and uh, that uh, server already know what are the roles requires to what are the passes requires to secure the server. For example, install roles. So these are already checked. You can check others also. For example, I check this. But you need to be very clear about what you are doing actually. Uninstall roles. So, okay. Select the roles. These are the roles selected overall. Uninstall. And these are the uninstall roles which we didn't install yet. Install roles. So these are the roles are which is currently installed. All roles. So it goes to next. Currently, these features are installed. And then same uninstall features. Select the features. I'm saying next. Install the options. Uh, these are the options. Which is currently installed uh, in the server. Uh, by default, not many things install uh, for the domain. Uh, when you promote a server in the domain, when you promote uh, uh, any role into the domain, then whatever required features uh, that role requires that, or a server requires that, they actually by default uh, install. So uninstall options, uh, selected options, or remote administration options, remote administration options, domain member options, a lot of many things are there. DNS server options, DFS replication options, volume shadow copies options, DFS namespace options. You can explore all that. And you can even find out all at all options. A selected additional services which currently install is uh, related to virtual machine additions. We since we install virtual ma machine additions uh, at the at the server. Next, now handling and specify services. What do you want to do? Do not change the start mode of the service. Disable the service. Uh, I'm saying that do not change uh, since I don't know. Uh, maybe some of the features which write requires to might get disabled and I'm not able to use the server quickly, uh, quite fluently. So let me go to by default one. The confirm server changes, uh, whatever changes you made uh, in the past. The you have to uh, you have to configure that you have to confirm that once again like uh, these are the changes you can go to back and if you found that these changes were not required it goes to back and uh, do whatever desired you want to uh, never security you can even skip the section I'm saying next. Our rules. Rules for selected options. Uh, rules added uh, the user in the SCW. Rules auto generated by SCW. Rules with additional restrictions. So it's up to you totally. You can even edit the rules. Uh, these are the firewall rules. You can add the rule. 
all these are a firewall uh, inbound outbound rule registry settings uh, this is registry based uh, settings use the section to configure protocols used to communicate with the other computers when configured to the communicate uh, with computer running earlier version of windows these protocols are vulnerable to exploit such as password tracking and the being of the metal metal attack so since it's a registry hack uh, it's very important to uh, secure that uh, RG edit reg edit registry edit so it matters to security that so that uh, because hacker first needs to hack is the password I mean tries to hack the go through to the computer so hackers basically uh, found a gateway how to how to reach to the computer they first hack that thing because if we're not able to reach to the network through the network we're not able to reach to the computer then how they will the how, how they will to hack the computer so answering these questions incorrectly might prevent computers running earlier version of the windows for communicating with the selected server if you do not know the characteristic of the computers that are connect and that are Communicate with the selected server. You should skip this section. So it's it's totally register settings, and you might prevent uh, yourself from hack. But you need to be know what exactly you are doing. Since uh, if you tries to uh, do something wrong, then you might face a lot main problem, because then your computer will stop uh, communicating with each other. Uh, communicate with the other uh, server so require SMB security signatures uh, computers that connected to it satisfy the following minimum operating system requires so all these are the old version of operating systems it has a short process process capacity that can be used to sign file and print traffic next uh, require LDAP signing it's up to you uh, even this 2000 server service path 3 or later next uh, outbound authentication method look look down the remote computers uh, it's totally I'm just just uh, showing the steps it's totally up to you what exactly you wants to do outbound authentication using domain accounts so again it's totally uh, Windows NT I'm just going to be later operating system uh, don't get to running Windows Server Windows 2000 server service back 4 or earlier must clock with 30 minutes of the selected servers account so these are the settings uh, we by default initiated just the next are the policies so it's depend on the audit and uh, because you do not audit these options does not prefer any auditing are the successfully active activities are uh, that successfully and unsuccessfully activities so the settings are based on auditing uh, these are the by default settings uh, you can go to edits are it successful and unsuccessful uh, activities so all the auditing based on failure will also be comes to the auditing list so failure currently uh, these are the by default one that log on events log on events account log on events or log on events the success and failure <coughs> next save settings uh, currently it will be save at windows security um, and MC MS SSCW policies, but I will be saving at uh, my desktop. Users administrator and the desktop. Okay.
security policies. Um, you can see the security from here also. Yes, so these are the very sawdust, those uh, what are the service name, uh, what are the mode description, startup mode description, role startup mode description, role startup mode description. All these are there. You can read those. It includes security templates. Uh, if you have any security templates, you can include uh, by default. So templates for example the current templates as this is what the template is added so all these settings which you just made are now have captured and list out so next apply later you can apply when you click next this will apply to security policies to the selected server Run this wizard again to apply the server security policy at a later time. So I just want to a uh, demo video that's the reason I just uh, not going to apply this. And I just create a file. Now what I'm going to do, whenever requires, I will just select this file and will have a policy on my server. Now when you open this, uh, it's a kind of XML file. These are the policies and how huge coding has been made. You can apply this uh, XML file in other client computers so that uh, these will be treated uh, as the by default one. Uh, it will be. It will be uh, available to other server other client server also uh, so it could be a, a model security policy of the domain by the entire group so I hope you learned something about uh, security configuration wizard uh, when you was to start of administrative tools and its open setter security configuration wizard start our programs Administrative tools, security configuration wizard. I hope you learned something from this video about the concept of security configuration wizard. Thanks for watching.